I just wanted to comment uh, as I was flipping through this business that the is for the uh, motherboard Azrock 390 X399. Maybe don't put it directly on the goddamn motherboard. Let's see. Where was that page? There it was. Installing the cooler. It's the CPU. There we go. So literally the page after installing the processor is installing the CPU liquid cooler. Doesn't Let's see if this even mentions air cooling. Can you guys see any of that? Okay, it does mention a cooling fan and heat sink. But it doesn't even have, <clears throat> I think it's noteworthy that it explicitly has a step on liquid cooling. It's not installing the cooler, installing the liquid cooler so uh, this motherboard is certainly made with uh, water cooling in mind and it is slaying everything I am <laughs> every time I see someone with a thread ripper with air cooling um, you just can't don't 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 do it um, so just wanted to mention that uh, focus on the motherboard from the manufacturer All right, so I got the motherboard on easily enough. Um, let me see what was tricky about that. Should have considered what I was gonna say before I hit record, but kind of not the build process here. Uh, more into the activity than the talking, so sorry. <laughs> um, <clears throat> this guy has 10 standoff screws. Okay, so the standoff screws to keep the motherboard off of the case came with the case. The motherboard itself came with a grand total of zero hardware uh, in terms of screws. Um, I don't know if you can see all ten in there, but they're there, those little guys. And if you're interested in detail on the thermal take itself, it comes with a little device similar to the size of this you know basic case screw and you just put it over the standoff itself to get a little more leverage leverage to make the uh, the bit that you hold on to um, larger because they're very small pieces as you saw under well in between them <clears throat> in between the case and the motherboard uh, just tightened them hand tight and then maybe a quarter turn into it uh, to get the motherboard to the standoffs and what else I actually went over the case with a wet cloth a little while ago when I held it up to the light I saw some remnants of factory life and uh, it actually a number of things uh, before and after inspecting it really closely came right off so so far I'm particularly happy with this uh, case um, yeah, again, the motherboard came with zero hardware, aside from SLI bridges and uh, a couple cables. There are no screws, so the, uh, the case itself should have uh, all the screws and related stuffs. From here, I guess I'm going to mount the uh, CPU, and uh, yeah, it should be pretty straightforward. All right, I just forgot how excited I was going to get with... Uh, processor. This packaging is super cool. I really don't care about the design. I just enjoy the fact that I feel like I could kick it as hard as I could off of a multi-story building and it would be just fine. Um, the density of the foam is 10 out of 10 on this guy sealed on the outside. It's pretty... Come on Samsung, do your thing. I don't like you either. Just, yeah, alright. It's solid. Um, so yeah, we're going to go do this just for my own enjoyment. One-handed.
cool. All right, let's put it in.